Hello viewers, welcome to my channel and today I will try to share my understanding about fraction. So let's start. Suppose your father brought a cake for you. You divided the cake in five pieces. One, two, three, four, five are the pieces of the whole cake. So each piece becomes a fraction of the total cake. So one, two, three, four, five, all these Five pieces are a fraction of this one total cake. So we can represent one part, uh, one part piece as one by five. We can represent two pieces as two by five. We can represent three pieces as three by five. We can represent four pieces as four by fi five. We can say five by five as one whole cake. There are three types of fractions. If fraction is smaller than 1, it is proper fraction. In this case, numerator is sm smaller than denominator, which means denominator is greater than numerator. And if denominator is greater than numerator, it is called proper fraction. For example, uh, for example, 1 by 3 and 3. Example. One by three, two by three. Now, now the second type is numerator and denominator will be equal. So, if numerator and denominator will be equal, it will be improper fraction. For example. Four by four equals to one, and two by two equals to one. Equal to one. The third type is numerator will be greater than denominator. If numerator is greater than denominator, it will be improper fraction two. So, if numerator and denominator are equal, and numerator will be is greater than denominator. They both will be in proper fraction. For example, three by two, four by one, etc. Sorry, I wrote four by one, four by three, etc. Ready. Now. I'm going to teach you to how to identify which fraction is larger or smaller. Ready. I will teach you I will teach you two techniques. The first one is cross multiply uh, multiply the numerators with denominators. First multiply uh, multiply 2 with 5 then multiply 3 with 5. The second point is Write the results beside the numerators. You can see when we multiplied 2 with 5, we found 10. And we wrote it besides the numerator. And when we multiplied 3 with 5, we, the answer was 15. And we wrote it besides 3, which is the numerator. 3. Number point 3. The greater numerators, uh, numerators result with the fraction is bigger one. So... 3 by 5 uh, equal, uh, 3 multiplied by 5 is 15 here and 15 is greater than 10 so 15 is a bigger fraction the, uh, the result is 15 on 3 by 5 and the result is 10 on 2 by 5 so 3 by 5 is greater because 15 is greater than 10 Ready. now I will teach you the second technique the second technique is finding common denominator We'll find, find our bigger fraction of 2 by 5 and 2 by 3. There are some steps of finding out the bigger fraction. The first step is find out the least common factor of the fractions. That means find out the least common factors of the denominators 5 and 3. So, we know as 5 and 3 has no common factors, so we have to multiply 5 and 3. 
So 5 multiplied by 3 is 15. The second step is convert the denominators of all fractions into least common multiple, which is 15, by multiplying the fractions. Now, how can, uh, how can we make 5 into 15? So 5 multiplied by 3 is 15. So we have to multiply 3 with the, uh, with the numerator 2. So 2 multiplied by 3 and 5 multiplied by 3. Same on this. So 3 multiplied by 5 is 15. So we have to multiply 2, which is the numerator, by 15. Sorry, I correct myself. 2 with 5. So the result became the same denominator. 6 by 15, 10 by 15. So the denominators are same. In this case, there is uh, another step. The third step is as the denominators are same, the bigger numerator will have greater will have been the greater fraction. 6 by 5 and 10 by 5. So 10 is the bigger numerator. As 10 by 15 is bigger, within these two, 2 by 3 is bigger. So we have to I have taught you three things today. The first is what is fraction, the second is types of fractions, and the third is how to find out the bigger fraction using two techniques. So that's it for today. I'll come back with another video about fraction. So please like and subscribe to my channel. Bye!